Here is another very interesting example for you to understand linear relations and rate of change. So the graph given here is a distance time graph which shows position of someone walking to the school. On the horizontal x-axis we have time in seconds and on the vertical y-axis we have distance in meters. With reference to the graph you have to explain the situation. Correct? So let's go through these questions here. Walking to the school. So that is the situation shown in the graph. Explain the situation shown. So what is happening? Now, and answer these questions. Question 1 is define variables. B is what is rate of change? And C is what does rate of change mean in this situation? D is what is the initial value? E what does initial value mean? F what would the distance be after 30 seconds? And G what is the equation of line? So like you have done in the previous examples I would like you to answer these questions stop the video meanwhile and then look into my suggestion this is how I see this situation so the graph shows a person walking to the school since we have a horizontal line that means the distance is not changing with time time is changing 10 seconds 20 seconds and so on right and the distance is not changing. It remains same at 50 meters, correct? So this is the distance and the distance is 20, 40, 50, correct? So it is 50 meters for all these 20 seconds. And if it continues like this, what do we expect? We expect the position to remain at 50 meters away for time to come. Correct? So basically the position does not change. Since the position does not change, with time, rate of change is zero. That is kind of interesting, correct? Now, what does this rate of change mean here? Well, you can make your story. You can think about a person standing at the stop sign. So maybe just stop there, right? 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Or maybe the person is just talking to someone and standing at a place, right? So that is how you can explain this, right? Now, about the other questions, initial value. Now, you know, initial value is 50 meters. How does, what does the initial value mean? Is the distance away from a reference point, correct? In this example, we haven't specified any reference point. But if you make up a story, you can always say your reference point from home or from some place, right? Now, what would the distance be after 30 seconds? Looking into the situation, we say, well, the situation is that there is no rate of change. Rate of change is zero. And therefore, the distance will remain same as it is, which is 50 meters. What is the equation of the line? So the equation of the line here is, now the variables which you defined were distance and time. Okay, let's get back to variables. So variables are distance and time, where dependent variable is distance. So we'll write distance here equals to independent variable here is time. And the rate at which time is changing is zero, right? So it is zero times time. You understand? Zero times time. Plus initial distance, which is 50 meters, right? So it is plus 50. Correct? And therefore, we can write this equation as distance t equals to 50. Do you see that? So that becomes 
the equation of the line given in this diagram. Do you get the point? Correct. Now, this is kind of very important to understand. A horizontal line represents zero rate of change. And the equation in the form of y equals to mx plus b will not have this variable term at all. It will have just the constant term, the y-intercept, correct? 50 in this case. 50, correct? Now, that is how you're going to answer this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.